Hi, I'm Andreas, Application Engineer at Optitune. Today I would like to show you how to get started with our mirrors. What we have here is the MRE2 development kit, which consists of a head unit and a base unit. The head unit additionally comes with a heatsink that is required for highly dynamic operation. Included in the base unit is a power supply as well as plug adapters. So, as you can see, I have now mounted the mirror head onto an optical post and connected it to the base unit. Please make sure to properly connect and secure the cable before powering up the device. Next, I'm going to show you how to use Optitune Cockpit to control our mirror. After starting Optitune Cockpit, just click to get connected to the mirror. On the left, you can see the serial numbers of both the driver and the mirror. Below, you have different menus. The most important ones are the input signal and control mode menus. For each axis, you can customize the input signal using the drop-down menus. You can set each axis individually to either open or close loop. Make sure that the unit type of the input signal matches the control mode. So, current for open loop and XY for closed loop. Let's assume we want to make the mirror scan large circles in closed loop. We can achieve this by selecting the built-in signal generators. I have already set these to sinusoidal shape with a frequency of 2 Hz and an amplitude of 0.8 for both axes with a phase delay of 90 degrees between them. Pressing set to device will write these settings to the mirror and make it move. For further information on our mirrors, please visit our website. After registration, you will be able to download Optitune Cockpit as well as two software development kits, one in Python and one in C-Sharp. For more details, please also check the firmware documentation. And don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.